We're almost home, boo. We're almost home. <laughs> She's looking at me like, yo, we need to get home quick. I gotta go. I thought you went before we left. All right, so look, I just got finished dropping a jack off at school and uh, you know, I'm sitting there going, I haven't vlogged in a while and I enjoy watching vlogs. Like, I just got finished watching Peter McKinnon's vlog. Apparently Casey Neistat made a movie, so now I'm dying to see that movie, of course. Um, you know, and I've just, I've been extremely busy with life, man. The business is just booming. Uh, here in New Orleans, it's March of 2022. The uh, COVID band-aid on the city uh, is just about lifted completely. People are back to work. Um, everything's happening all at one time. March is extremely busy for me. I have a wedding Friday. I have a wedding Saturday. It, it's, it's been good. It's been really, really good. So I just, I turned 50 in December. And the way I look at life is by decades, you know? I don't worry about five years from now. Um, looking at what am I going to be doing for the next 10 years, you know? And most importantly, when 10 years hits, what do I not wanna be doing, <laughs> you know? Like, consider your career. What do you not want to be doing in 10 years? Are you doing something that you love and there's just some aspects that, yeah, I don't really feel like doing all that stuff uh, 10 years from now? Or are you not where you want to be yet? And 10 years from now is too long. You know, you see, see what I'm saying? So you need to work on things right now. I just turned 50 in December. So the way I look at it, this is my decade. This is my decade. This is the whatever I wanted to do in my life, get to in my life, accomplish in my life, bigger, stronger, better than where I am right this second. This is the decade. We're in March. So that means we have a couple more months before we're halfway through the year. And uh, this is when we do the groundwork, okay? Um, Work-wise, I'm photographing everything that I want to. I like being the go-to guy here in New Orleans. I literally photograph just about everything that's uh, important <laughs> that I want to do. You know, I do weddings. Uh, I, you know, I do portraits at the studio. I do, you know, we do high school seniors. We do food photography. I do special events. <sighs> I do vehicles. I do product photography. I just enjoy this world that I was able to get into and stay in like photography is an amazing industry it's an amazing career if you do it right and what i mean by that is when i was 23 years old i was a bit stubborn yet excited and uh i don't care how old you are right now i need you to find that stubborn excited stage again in your life you need to be stubborn you know because when you want something bad enough, sometimes you just put the blinders on and you're like, nope, I want this. I'm going to figure this out. And that's what we need to do. And that's what the next 10 years for me is going to be. I need to figure out what I want and I need to get stubborn and excited and just do it. I do. And I really, truly want to bring you along for this journey. I've been honestly wanting to be a bigger vlogger than I am. Um, like everything else in life, we we do things according to acceptance and something as simple as the YouTube algorithm, you know, not pushing people like me that vlog, like those videos do terrible, but I do uh, a lens review or something and it gets over a thousand plus views and it gets you aggravated because it's like, okay, I don't always want to do that. I want to show you my life. I want to show you what I'm doing on a daily basis in New Orleans, you know? I am 50 years old, three kids, a booming business, and f I, somehow I find time for everything and everything gets done. That alone is worthy of watching a vlog, if you ask me. I think so many people don't know how to get a lot done in a day, you know? 
Uh, I do, and I'd love to show you that. So this is Friday, this is Thursday, this is Thursday. Um, I'm gonna post this vlog today. Of course, the algorithm's gonna destroy it, but if you are a uh, subscriber of mine, you will at least know there's a video out there. And uh, I'm gonna go do the uh, tutorial in a minute for Capture One, how to do a recipe. There's some things that I've been doing workflow-wise that has really been saving me time and earning me more money. Time is money. So if you're sitting there behind a computer, you don't earn money sitting behind a computer doing your work which is why I'm so passionate as a photographer that when I talk to other photographers, I'm like, if your photography is, if you think your photography is good because of what you do in Photoshop to your images, you're doing it wrong. It's not how you make money. You wanna do it in the camera, get it done on the job in front of your client, work harder and work smarter. And Photoshop is a time capsule. It does not earn you money unless you're a graphic designer and of course you're earning money on Photoshop. I get that, don't be silly in the comments. Um, anyway, that's coming to you in a second. I'm gonna go inside Miss uh, Miss Millie here. You ready? <laughs> I know, I know, I know, we're home. All right, you guys, see you in a few minutes.